So what's going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 7, 16th I guess ReactJS tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm gonna do is show you a couple of ways to use CSS with React and actually there are a lot of ways to do you can just find in the documentation or you know any other post or something so you can if you're using like CSS if you're using like SAS or less for pre-processing CSS then you can just configure webpack as well and then make use of import statements and all that stuff so there are a lot of ways to do but I'm just gonna stick to the simplest one using our old school CSS only without any pre-processors or on anything anything like that so yeah let's just begin so first of all let's just get rid of these this uh, to do app right and uh, return to a simpler one so let's just delete these and I can just leave this main.js because we're just importing that let's just change this to to do from to shape right so I'm just gonna change this to render shapes or rather shapes and uh, we don't need anything for now I guess we'll just see if we need something so this would be shapes right uh, we don't need these again nothing like that okay so now inside our render function what we can do is uh, or actually rather let's just change it to shape only and uh, pass in something like uh, name equals um, circle and uh, then we can just copy this again square and rectangle right and make sure to encapsulate that in a div there we go and now inside our shape what we have is let's just return a div with uh, some styles right so what we can do the first approach is that you can just create a styles variable itself in the render function and then we can just finally apply it as a class to our returning element inside our component right so so what we can do first is just check if our shape if this dot props dot name equals circle that means we're gonna round the corners right so i'm just gonna create another property here border radius and set it to zero zero like that so we're gonna say border radius is 50 percent 50 percent something like that and uh, instead let's just change it to something like border radius value so that it's easily distinguishable from the property so what we are gonna do is simply say something like let's just hard code the width for now and the pixel height is 100 pixel uh, we're gonna say border radius and remember you can't use hyphen here usually you would do something like that for css but just make use of camel casing here because we are writing in javascript and then finally what we can do is we can say div class name equals styles right and uh, that should get us so if we go to our document and run the web pack let's see if we have anything there um, well obviously we do not need that as a class but actually styles right because class name actually gives it a class right so this should be styles and again a typo there 
um, this should be style and uh, there we go so now you can see that we have got our three divs but they are invisible right so what we can do else is that uh, we can create a background property background and then pass in a color but instead what we can do is we can say this dot props dot color or bg let's just say and from our main script we can pass in color as uh, you know any hexadecimal value or any rgb value because essentially it's gonna just replace that right here so you can either say something like red and uh, color is something like that and color is black there and you'll be good to go right so we are making use of bg there okay so now you can see that <clears throat> we have got our colors ready right and uh, right now you can see that styles are individually applied to everything every div right so it kind of looks weird so what instead you can do is that if some styles are common you can just take them out into another separate css file and then just include that file and say class name equals whatever class you have set there so that will just you know save you uh, or maybe just provide a little readability but that's pretty much it how you do that and again in react inside this return you need to make use of this class name instead of class because remember that we are just making use of this class again here so you know you can just make use of that in javascript so that is how pretty much you do basic styling with react and sort of dynamic as well if you want to like passing colors from the parent and then making use of them like that so that's all for this one and uh, again because we are making use of this as a rectangle we can just pass in width is equal to 100 or maybe 200 pixel and height is equal to 100 pixel and we can just say this is uh, um, width is equal to 100 pixel or for the circle we don't need that do we so we can just say width is equal to 100 pixel so essentially what we can do is first of all say var width is equal to this dot props dot width if it is set then this dot props dot width otherwise just fall back to 100 pixel and the same thing can be done with height as well right so that is it and just replace these values right there and now we take a look you can see that our rectangle stands apart from square and the circle and square is sort of not really visible so like that so that's how pretty much you do basic styling with react and that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one